So today I'm going to show you how to make these fun abstract pendants using a material called jesmonite, which is an acrylic polymer mineral resin system. It sounds complicated, but it isn't. And it's really easy to use, really non-toxic, not at all dangerous. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to need your base powder and then you're going to need your liquid to add to the base powder. Now the ratio is one part of the liquid to two and a half parts of the powder by weight. So we'll get weighing. So taking a small set of scales, put a plastic cup on the scales and turn them on so that they go to zero. I'm going to measure out 20 grams of the powder. It's a little bit over but that doesn't matter, it's not that critical. Now I'm going to put an empty plastic cup on the scales, set that to zero. And I'm going to pour out eight grams of the liquid. Careful you don't spill it on your scales. little bit over eight. Again, that's fine. Now we're going to mix the two together. Pouring the liquid in with the powder. If you're mix mixing this in large quantities, you will need a special mixing tool. But as we're only measuring a small amount, then you can mix it safely by hand. And what you want to avoid is any lumps, as you can see in here. So we want to get rid of those completely. It should be like a smooth batter, a pancake batter. Can you see all the bubbles? bubbles and lumps. Perfect. Now I'm going to put some of the mixture into three little cups. I'm going to make myself three colours. I put too much in there. Let's put some in here. So I'm going to add this fantastic blue. It's a really beautiful blue to one of the pots. Take a cocktail stick or toothpick and just add a couple of drops. It's very potent, you won't need very much. Then I've got this gorgeous bright yellow. I'm going to add one drop here. And then I'm going to add some green to it to make a beautiful apple green. So this green is quite a jade green, but if you mix it with a yellow, you'll get the lovely apple green. Couple of drops. Oh. 
and in the last pot I'm just going to add the jade green. So next I'm going to mix the colours in and you'll see how strong they are. Really beautiful. Make sure you don't leave any of the pigment on the side of the pot. It needs to be all mixed in. You don't want to add pigment on its own to the piece because that won't set properly. Let's see how this apple green turns out. Gorgeous. Now the blue. It's a really beautiful, vivid, vivid blue. making sure I wipe the edge of the pot. Fantastic. Perfect. So I have a pendant set up here ready to go. So I'm going to add some colours in a random abstract pattern. Obviously you could do a design that was more controlled but uh, I'm giving myself a bit of freedom to play here. I'm going to use some of the white, the white mix that I have in the big cup. Some of this beautiful jade green. More of the blue. Now I'm going to take a cocktail stick, toothpick, and I'm going to drag it through the mix on my pendant and see what happens. And because this jesmonite is quite a thick liquid, you've got a lot of control over what happens. They won't bleed in and flow together, unlike, say, a watercolour painting. I'm even going to mix in within the painting, I'm calling it a painting, let's add a splash more white at the top here, it's quite dark at the top. I don't want to overdo it. And I notice here that the jesmonite has gone over the edge. I'm just going to catch that before it sets. And this will set very quickly. It'll be hard enough in about an hour. And half an hour if you put it somewhere warm. And once it's set, you can varnish the layer on top. Or you can add some epoxy resin to give a proper deep gloss to it. All the materials can be found on our website www.resin8.co.uk Thank you for watching.